Okay, so let's do a recap. So we said we'd walk through trades. So here's what we're going to do on where we're going to start walking through these trades. I walked through all these uh, trades here this morning. Um, so what I did is I put the NQ next to the S&P this morning. So I said what we would do is we'd walk through these setups before they would come to fruition in the trading room. So uh, we're going to do that on Wednesday, uh, starting Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday next week. Make sure you log in at 8.15. I'm going to walk you through failure trades. That's why I'm stalking failure trades on the NQ, and I'm stalking failure trades on the S&P. All right, so it'll be from 8.15 to 11 o'clock. 8.15 to 11 o'clock, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We'll be stalking these failure trades. We did it today. So um, let's go back through it and... I'll show you when they came up and how we're going to project these setups. So first of all, congratulations to Brian today. Uh, good job, 100% on his trades, on the failure trades. And Leo, good job, 7 for 7 for Leo. Shout out to the member on stocking these trades today, 7 for 7. I just typed in the room, you can see 100% there also. I asked them on the failure trades how they did. So great job, guys, but let's keep it rolling. Um, I like seeing success on this setup. Let's go back to the setup. So what I did, I put the charts next to each other, and I wanted to show traders that you can project this uh, setup before it actually um, before it comes through. So I said I'd do a recap video, replay the video that we did this morning before we started this price action this morning. It shows you the setups, um, uh, the setups. Uh, rules of the setup, you know, as they occur and so on. So go ahead and play that and you guys can, um, you guys will see that uh, uh, the exact rules on the overall setup as we go through this. So uh, what we did this morning is we actually had two charts, the NQ setup. We had the NQ setup here this morning. And what we did is we walked through these failure setups as they, um, I was educating traders when the setup was coming up before the setup actually occurred. So let's go through every single setup since 745 this morning. It had 17 setups overall from 745. And after 930, it was 15 for 15 on its setup also. So the key for the failure trade on the NQ, we will walk through these trades, educating traders on how they work. Uh, before they set up, like I did today, I walked them through you guys, traders today. Like I said, great job for you guys that participated. Um, so what we did is we went over a video this morning on how to get into this failure trade. So just to sum up on a, on a recap, as soon as this oscillator got above 65, I was on the microphone alerting traders possible failure buy or if the oscillator got below 40, possible failure sell. And way how you want to qualify it is, how I like to tell traders to do it, is to educate traders on how they can see it before it happens, is that once that large oscillator gets above 65, and my zones have been back tested for 30 years, so we know these zones are very accurate. We know they should hold trend all the way down or all the way up on any given day. But when they fail, we want to participate when they fail. That's why this is called a failure trade. That's why it works so well. So what we do is we use the zone with my two signal lines to dictate when the failure trade is going to come up. So on the microphone today, what I did was as we get above 65 against overall red zone, I would say a possible failure slingshot on the NQ. And traders in the live room was watching price action. What they would notice is that they, we got red bars that were reversing as a possible slingshot. Well, a slingshot, the small oscillator would have to come below my 40 threshold. If it does not go below my 40 threshold and holds above 40 and I get a green bar reversal, then that is a buy setup. And that's what happened on our first trade. So on 745, we, had a, uh, we got above. It stayed above 40, green bar, there we go. So the next trade occurred, 
We had a failure trade that came up here at that level. Large oscillator got below at 925 before the New York opened up. If this is too close to the open, don't even trade it. You can wait till after it opens up. So these two are too close to the open. We'll skip those. But you can see the setup though. You can see the large oscillator got below here. It got below 40. My small oscillator stayed below 65. Red bar reversal. Trade start moving. And here's where we started going on the mic. This is the one that I showed traders in the room. Before it happened, I said, we are looking for a possible failure trade. What I noticed was, was my large oscillator was at 935, 24, was going through 65. I'm up against my red zone, so I'm looking for a failure trade. I need a red bar lower close and open to set it up. I'll take the first green bar that forms. That is the first green reversal bar. That sets your failure trade up, and the market exploded to the upside. The key is this. When the large oscillator gets above 65, you're, and you're up against the red zone, because remember, failure trades are against zone. It's a motive, I mean, a corrective wave. As soon as it's against zone, you're looking for that red bar, red, uh, lower closes and open to set it up, catch the wrongly position traders, right? So you want the red bar to come in. You want a red candle to come in to catch wrongly position traders, which it did. So as, as soon as this, at 9.35.24, I alerted on the microphone, watch for a possible failure trade at 9.34, 35, and 24 seconds on the NQ today. I educated traders, look for a possible failure trade. Comes up, gets a red bar reversal like we want it. My small oscillator has to stay above my bull 40. There's my bull 40. The zones are key. It's against zone. There's your first green bar reversal. The fill was 23 plus or minus a couple ticks. I showed you that. And the market explodes to the upside. That's a failure trade. Then we come on. That's the first one after 930. We won't count the one at 930. That's too fast, but there's a huge short right there, right at 930, 929 and 47 seconds, actually. And then one at 930 in 10 seconds. But we won't even count those. We'll go through. We'll go the ones where I was on the microphone. That's the first microphone that I said, educated traders, possible failure, explodes. Next one comes up here. I right, learned on the microphone at 941, got another possible failure trade that's coming up. What I noticed was, was I noticed that the large oscillator got above 65, against zone trend. That tells me there's a possible failure trade. So we waited for this one, 9.41 and 21 seconds. We stalked it, stalked it, stalked it. We need an opposite color red bar to come in to catch the wrongly positioned traders. Now it sets a trade up. Because if it doesn't, it's going to be all green bars. It'll just trend change. We can't take the failure trade. We need this opposite color bar to come in. It comes in. I'm stalking the small oscillator. It stays above 40. Stayed above 40. Green bar comes in. Market exposed to the upside. Third trade comes up. Third trade comes up. What I noticed is our large oscillator. Where was it? Hold on. Not this. Right here. Oops. Large oscillator gets below. This one out of here. This one. It's not qualified. Oh, there it is. It's a doji. Yeah, it is. So this one comes up. Now, these are dojis. So the large oscillator comes up above 65. Small oscillator stays above 40. This is what's called a double doji. You can take these if you want. Um, this is a failure trade, a double doge failure trade. I like when it's a lower close or higher close and open, but to each its own. It, they do work. Market takes off, hits the targets. But this one, we had a green. I mentioned this on the mic. What I noticed was before it happened, I saw the oscillator go below at 944 and at 8 seconds. I want green bar reversals to catch the rolling position traders, higher closes and open. I want against zone. The zones are so key. It's been 30-year back tested. We know when they fail, they fail good. These oscillators will help us out to determine that. Oscillator gets below 40. Small oscillator has to stay below. Is right on it. 
here's another one. Oscillator gets below, large oscillator gets below 40. I'm against zone. This is a huge trade to the downside. Small oscillator when I turn a red bar reversal stays below my bear of 65. Market plummets. Next trade, another one comes up. Oscillator gets below 65. This is when you want to I tell traders watch for a possible um, watch for a possible sell on the failure trade. You need a green bar reversal. And, Small oscillator stays below 65. Target's hit. Next one comes up. Right there. Small oscillator, it's large oscillator gets below 65. Small oscillator stays below 65. First targets are hit. Runner is taken on this one. Next one. This is a double do, double doji. Oscillator goes above 65, large oscillator, small stays above bull 40. Targets are hit, runner taken. Next one, this is a double doge failure trade. Large oscillator gets below 40, small oscillator stays below 65. Pulls in, all targets are hit. Next one, large oscillator gets above 65, small oscillator stays above 40 bull. Pulls in, red red reversal. I mean, you have opposite color zones. You're looking for a buy. You get two lower closes and open. Green bar reversal. Targets are hit. It's my last trade of the day at 1030. Large oscillator gets below 40. Small oscillator stays below 65. When double dojis come up, red bar reversal. All targets are hit. Come up against a zone. We know when the zones fail, they fail good. That's why I love the failure trade. If you're going to trade one, trade setup on the NQ, S&P, crude oil. Trade this failure trade. It's my proprietary setup against my proprietary, proprietary zones. You come up to my zones. You get a red bar reversal. The oscillator stays above 65. Small oscillator stays above bull 40. You get two red bars. First green bar, market explodes. This one, oops, this one would have qualified. I would have took this setup. However, the small oscillator jetted above 65 before it pulled in. So that's not a trade setup. But my large oscillator got below 65. It just showed too much strength, got above my 65. My zone, I don't like that. But that would have worked nice. We did not. Look at that one. Small, large oscillator gets above 65. Small stays above bull 40. We got the rolling position traders. Two reversal bars. Moves up. Here's a big one. Here's my green zone. Large oscillator gets below 65. I'm below 40, sorry. Small oscillator stays below 65. Red bar reversal. Market tanks. All targets hit. This is the one I just pointed out on the microphone. <clears throat> Large oscillator gets below uh, 40. Small oscillator stays below right at 65. It was right at at the time. That was a big hit. And now we're in live price action right now as we speak. So we've had 17 failure trades since 745. 17 trades on the NQ. 17 trades. The only one I pointed out today on the NQ, on the ES, we only had one this morning, was right here. I said we're looking for an uh, a failure trade here. We have a control point right above us. Keep stops tight. That's a failure trade, large oscillator. I love the failure trades on the 13. Love them on the 13 on the ES. Large oscillators gets above 65. Small stays above bull 40. We get a, a red bar indicating that we're catching the rolling position traders. Your first entry on the ES would be at that level. This happened yesterday several times yesterday. We had great uh, trade yesterday on the S&P. Where was that big move up? 
right here. Here's the large oscillator gets above 65 on the S&P yesterday. Small oscillator stays above 40. That's your pull-in bar right there. Catch the rolling position traders. Red closes. Take the first green open, and the market just explodes to the upside. Check this. Check this failure out. Explodes to the upside. Look at that S&P. Gorgeous. Your bill plus your minus a couple ticks. 40, 30 and a half. Got as high as 63. 30 S&P points on a failure trade. It happened earlier. We had a big move up. Uh, where's that other big one? I'll have it marked up here. We had another big one on the S&P uh, also. If you want to go to crude oil, it works on crude the same way. I showed this earlier to traders. Uh, crude oil is a good failure trades. So we had a failure trade this morning on crude at that level. Let's go. Let's take a look at the failure trades on crude. So here's a failure trade on crude at 9.31 this morning. Here's a failure trade on crude last night. Here's a failure trade on crude at 2.30 yesterday. Here's a failure trade on crude at 10 o'clock yesterday. So they come up on all markets right across the board. Here's a failure trade on crude at 11.30 the day before. Got that big move up on crude oil. Look at that move. That failure move. Gorgeous. I like the combo deal. Like I said this morning, it went from failure right into a slingshot. Failure. First wave slingshot. Market explodes. This works on all markets. My proprietary setup. Love the failure trade. So you can see it works on all markets. Right there is that failure to the upside on crude also. So it works, you know, you just don't have to take Momo trades right here. The failure trades work on that also. What we're doing is, it's like I said, I'm, I'm going to educate traders when these setups start coming through on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. We'll start out at 8.15. <clears throat> I'm going to have the chart set up like this next week. I walked through traders all the way through from 8.15 this morning on the microphone, on the S&P, and then also the NQ. I will leave the charts like they are because I don't want to miss setups because a lot of the majority setups happen on the NQ from 9.30 to 10.30. That first hour of trading, that is key. 9.30 to 10.30, we get a lot of good setups, you know, when, when that comes up. So good job today for those that participate. Brian, hey, good job. Uh, Leo, 7 for 7 on uh, your failure trades. Brian, 100% today also. Great job. Steve, see ya. I like it. So, um, Gerald, good. Shut that off. And then uh, make sure you guys understand that we will do this on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I'll show you the strat coming up right now, our weaker, stronger strat, uh, when Gerald shuts that off. Shut, shut, the, shut that video off, Gerald.